and two at one guard will be a six-foot junior, Brett Abbott. The other guard, 5'9", junior, Alec Holland. At one forward, 6'2", senior, Taylor Medina. The other forward, 6'3", senior, Don Thomas. And in the middle tonight for the Rochester Zebras will be 6'6", senior, Noah Dahlquist, Rochester Coast for Mr. Rex Reinhold. Well, Tony, we are non-conference. We're in Christmas break. I would say a decent crowd for uh, everything considered. Yeah, you never know what these games are like. I mean, on one hand, you can say, hey, people out of town, not a big crowd. But on the other hand, people who are in town, what else is going on on a yeah. Tuesday night? It's not New Year's Eve. That's not till tomorrow. So, you know, uh, all I know is it's, it's a great day to be an Irish fan. we got to talk about that before we Unbelievable. start. Unbelievable. How about that? No, I would have never guessed that. Wow. In, uh, in about two months of misery. It finally ends with a, with a nice win and I something build on towards next year. I didn't watch a whole lot of that game. Did uh, Ever Golson play a lot or no? He played some. Yeah, okay. but I think, you know, from a Notre Dame fan standpoint and a coach's standpoint, I think Zaire took control of that race heading into next year. It'd be well, a surprise. That, that was my next question. Yeah. Is it, is it, will it be a open race, or do you think that he's got a, maybe Boy, a leg up? I don't know. I mean, the way he played and the way the different dynamic of the offense was, it would be tough to tell Zaire he didn't do enough. Yeah. It would be interesting, though. Another soap opera in Notre Dame, just what you want in the offseason. But <laughs> lots to build on, that's for sure. The Rochester Zebras in their home whites will go right to left. And the Lewis Cass Kings in their road navies will go left to right. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman here at Rochester High School. Big thing that we can see here early on is can the big stay out of foul trouble? Yeah. No and Dom, that's been the common thread is they've got into foul trouble early on in these first games. Can they stay out and stay on the floor? And the tip controlled by Bob Brash. <laughs> at the scores table. They're going to say knocked out of bounds by Rochester, so it'll be cast basketball. Don't think Coach Sprass gets the statistic for that, but you know, we appreciate the effort nonetheless. <laughs> We'd also like to welcome Shepard Chevrolet to the broadcast this evening. So non-conference basketball here at Rochester High School. The Zebras defensively starting a man-to-man defense. As Bixler holds top of the key and then throws it behind the cutting, uh, the cutting guard to Ty Stover out of bounds. It'll go back to Rochester. This is one of those games last year, if you remember, down Lewis Cass. It wasn't at the same point of the schedule as a few weeks earlier, but, you know, the Zebras didn't kind of mentally show up for that game. And I'm yeah. sure if, if I'm Coach Reinhold, I know I've used this before, the returners, you're like, hey, remember how this game went? Let's, let's try to get a little pride to see if we can't come back with a better effort this year. Holland for three, left wing. Good. That's a great start. Nice ball move by Taylor Medina getting good over the two, top of that 2-3 zone to find Holland wide open. Three to nothing. Rochester with 40 seconds gone here in the opening quarter. Bixler dumps down low to Owen. Her, his jumper off the glass is good. Make that to uh, uh, Stover. Beg your pardon. Stover puts it in for two. Holland against the 2-2-1 uh, two -two zone press. To Holland. Top of the key. Alec against the 2-3 zone. To Dom at the free throw line. Outside to Abbott. Feeds down low to Dahlquist. Foul on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Good sign. Get the ball inside, outside. You know, you move the ball around the first possession. Alec Holland got a good look. But he also got to get those big some touches inside. And Noah drawing fouls versus getting fouls on himself is a big start. <laughs> so Noah Dogwood will be at the line to shoot two for the Zebras, up three to two with a 7:02 to play in the first quarter. Noah, a couple of dribbles, eyes the first one, lets it fly. Nice soft shot off the side of the rim, no good. We'll have one more. Zebras have done a good job so far this year getting to the free throw line, but that free throw percentage is something they need to work on. You know, and it's been there 50, 60 percent. You like to get that up to 70, 80 percent if you can. No, the second one, no good again. And the rebound to Hanlon. It gives to Bixler, pushes ahead to Evan Owen. Bixler drives the elbow outside to Evan Owen. His pass tipped away. Bixler picks it up on the right elbow. Now back out to the three point line near Coach Reinhold. Now resets to the volleyball line for Lewis Cass. Three to two, Rochester. Cass going to our right. Evan Oman for three. No good off the top of the rim and off the backboard. And it'll go back to Rochester off the top of the backboard, I should say. 6.38 to play first quarter. Rochester by one. Cass in a full court press. Yep, a little 2-2-1 two, two, look. Three quarters court. Holland to Abbott. Seavers need to get somebody middle, move the ball quickly, and then get the ball to the floor. Thomas in the lane. Turn around 15 footers off the mark. No good. And the rebound to Bixler and the Kings. Bixler behind his back dribble, middle of the floor, hesitates at the free throw line, gives him the corner. Now to the wing to Hanlon. Now to Bixler. Bixler against Abbott in the man-to-man -man defense. At the volleyball line between the rings. Backs it out of the center circle. Now works right. Picks up his dribble on the screen and go. Gives to uh, in the corner to Bick, uh, make that to Stover. And Stover puts it in for two more. Uh, make that for three more, I beg your pardon. He's got all five. 
Rochester breaks the press. And Holland holds inside the three-point line. Now backs it out to the volleyball line. And resets for Rochester. Now to, uh, to Medina. Back to Holland left side. Alec holds. To Brett Abbott between the rings for Rochester. Works against the 2-3 zone. Jumps top in the lane. Kicks it out to Holland. And loses the handle. Gets it back. Medina for a long two is good. And we're tied at five with five and a half to play in the first quarter. Inside, outside, there with the drive instead of a post speed. Abbott drove, drove the defense in, kicked out to Holland. Holland drove a little bit, kicked to Medina. Good work by the Zebras. Bixler around the defense in the lane. Floater with a lot of contact, no good. Thomas with the rebound, outlets to Abbott. Brett Abbott goes in for the right-handed layup. It's good. It's another thing that's been added to the Zebras' arsenal this year. Much better at looking up the floor and beating the defense down the floor, getting some of those transition baskets, which makes offense a lot easier, obviously. Bixler around Abbott. Jump pass to... Stover, his three is good again. Ty Stover has all eight points for the Lewis Cass Kings, and they're up by one. Dahlquist loses the basketball out of bounds, so we will go back to Lewis Cass. Well, at this pace, I'm pretty sure Stover's on track for the gym record. <laughs> I would say so. Zebras <laughs> have to make a defensive adjustment, maybe. Well, Dom's responsible, but I think they've done a good job of running him through several screens, and the Zebras just haven't communicated very well on those screens. So Bickler crosses the timeline against Holland, gives to Owen Omen. His three is good from the left corner. Hug. That's about the fourth three, maybe the third three in this quarter. Yep. 11 to 7, Lewis Cass. Abbott puts the defense through the center circle in the lane, dumped down a little Dahlquist. His layup is good. Nice job by the Zebras breaking that press easily and finding a wide open Noah Dahlquist down low. Four different Zebras have scored. Good at time. Two-point lead for Lewis Cass as Alec Holland is going to be called on the reach-in. And it'll be the Kings basketball timeline with 4.14 to play in the first quarter. The Kings lead 11-9. Seaver's got to feel really good about the foul situation. There's been a lot of games where at this point they've had four or five team fouls. That's their first. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. And, and it's not a big it's right. a whistle it's again. Not, but you don't want Alec picking up that second cheap one here anytime soon. Ranker comes into the game for the first time for the Kings. Then he replaces Hanlon. Bixler with the basketball, drives it right, loses the handle, picked up by Dahlquist, pushes ahead to Abbott. Rochester runs, down by two. Abbott goes to the basket hard, throws him a shot, no good. Rebound to the King. Owen Omen, outside left, now in the middle of the floor. Floater on the way in the paint is no good. And Dom Thomas rises up, grabs the board, and he is fouled over the back by Lewis Cass with 3.51 to play in the first quarter. Seavers have had a problem this year, too, giving up offensive rebounds, but starting with North Miami, you, you saw that, that time leading into North Miami was well spent rebounding, yeah. and that's continued. Uh, Dom drew the foul because he actually blocked out. The full court press by the Kings, broken by the Zebras. Holland, left elbow, outside to Abbott. Abbott drives the baseline, down low to Dom Thomas. His jump off the glass is good, and we're tied at 11. How about this? All five starters have scored. Good for them. Great ball movement by the Zebras. Three and a half to play first quarter with tied at 11. Bixler around the defense. Now against the double team. Hesitates. Down low to a wide open. Owen uh, makes it Evan Owen. His reverse layup is good. And Lewis Cass back up 13 to 11. Just smooth. Yeah. I mean, whatever the Kings do is just smooth. And then they steal the basketball. Bixler pushes ahead to Owen Oman off his leg and out of bounds. So we go back to Rochester. You know, the faces and numbers are different, but this is a much similar system to what right. they ran last year. You know, the 2 2 1 was there. The 2 3 has always been there since Basil Mobby's been there. Cast a lot of remnants from there. But it's just, you're just filling in new guys, but you're still running the same stuff. And it does look smooth because they come up through the system running the same thing all the way through. 3.06 to play. First quarter, Lewis Cass up 13 to 11. Taylor Medina gets it across the timeline to Holland. Holland drives the baseline, leader of the way is blocked out of bounds by Lewis Cass. Rochester key possession, baseline left. Cody Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. <laughs> Abbott gets into Holland against the double team. Out to Medina. Now make makes that to Thomas, now to Medina high on the right side, in the corner to Dahlquist. Dal over the top of the defense to Abbott. Abbott at the free throw line to Thomas. Fake, drives, rises up, shot the lane is good. We're tied at 13 with 2.35 to play in the first quarter. Starters are playing, playing really well, and as, as a, you know, constant, I guess as a reward, coach is letting them go. I mean, five are playing well, nobody's in foul trouble, let them keep going. Yeah, I was going to say by this time, they've made three or four right. substitutions. Foul's going to be on Medina. Little body check there, his first team second. 
But like I said, only the second foul. There's 227 yep. left in the first. That's a good sign. 227 to play in the first quarter. Tight at 13. Oman looks triggered in. Does so to Rankard. His flop pass inside is taken away by uh, the big man, Nyes, and he's fouled on the shot, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Dom's first, team's third. Dom was in pretty good position, just needed a little more, a little more jump. Yeah. More verticality on a jump. He was right in the right spot, just passes just a little bit out of his reach where he couldn't quite control it, deflected it, and ended up with a body control foul. Nice first free throw is no good. He'll have one more for the Kings. 2.23 to play. First quarter, we're tied at 13. One more for the Kings. And now Rochester will go to their bench. Tristan Foster will come in right now as Nyes makes the free throw, and he'll replace Noah Dahlquist. But that's okay, because now not Coach, Coach Reinhold's in where he's subbing when he wants to, not because he has exactly. more natural yep. kind of rotation. So Kings in a 2-2-1 uh, mm -hmm. press. Zebra's trying to get three guards back. Dom's going to flash middle and then try to get the guards up the floor. And Thomas gets the basketball from Abbott, drives it to the elbow outside to Abbott, high on the right side of the free throw or the uh, volleyball line. Crossover dribble, goes to the lane, loses the handle, ball loose from the floor, picked up by the King. Rankert through the defense. Oh, that's, and Abbott smacks yeah. it off the face <laughs> of Rankert out of bounds. That's a great hustle play. We talk about that all the time. That's, those are the hidden plays in basketball where the ball may be by you, but if you hustle into the play, he deflected off the Cass's player's face and Zebra's maintained it. Yep, and out of bounds, you're right. Under two to play in the first quarter. Lewis Cass up 14-13. Thomas, baseline to Tristan Foster. 15-footers off the mark, no good. And the rebound to the Kings. Dix will run the point for the Kings. He pushes up the floor to Nyes. Has it thrown away by Abbott. Abbott middle of the floor. Being chased from behind, and he has this pass knocked out of bounds by Rankard. It'll stay with uh, Rochester baseline right with a minute 40 to play in the first quarter. You know, sometimes in these Christmas break games, coaches are always worried about lethargic and legs. I think both teams are playing pretty yeah. well. It's a pretty crisp game. I, I don't see any kind of Christmas Christmas heavy legs or anything like that. It's a, it's a pretty well-played game so far this part of the first quarter. Rochester's had about a week and a half off. Foster in the left corner against the man-to-man, -man, the 2-3 two, two, zone defense, I should say. Now to Abbott with a minute 30. Right side to Holland, fakes the three, drives it, loses it on the way up. They're gonna, he's gonna be uh, fouled, they're gonna say, and will that send him to the line to shoot two? I think so. Foul's gonna be on number 10, Omen, his second. Owen Omen, I guess there's two Omens, his second. Owen Omen's second, team's third. Alec gonna go to the free throw line, where he shot very, he shot very well from the line this year. First one on the way for the juniors, no good off one more. Get the jinx in there. <laughs> My bad. Jordan Wright holding the game for the first time for Rochester. Brett Abbott comes out. And Irwin for Lewis Cass comes in with 125 to play in the first quarter. Holland at the line looking to tie the score at 14. Holland's second one is no good again. Bixler with a rebound. Bixler across the timeline to Ranker. Three, top of the key. Short. And the rebound comes out to Medina. Stays from going out of bounds, right to the hands of the King. Outside to Owen, his three no good. Reinhold with a rebound. There's to Holland. Minute to play, first quarter. Rochester down by one. Medina in the left corner. Cass against the 2-3 zone. Then has his pass picked off by Irwin. Irwin to Bixler. Reverse layup is good. 16-13, Lewis Cass. Rochester runs to our left, down by three. 45 seconds to play, first quarter. Holland backs it out to the... Uh, Three, uh, volleyball line to Foster to Jordan Reinhold for three in the baseline draws nothing but air picked up by King Irwin gives off to Bixler 35 to play first quarter cast by three Bixler takes an eye at the clock back Holland inside the volleyball line with 25 works to the right wing with 23 down to the center circle with 20 Bixler dribbles with 19 against Don Thomas Works to the left side, and now Thomas has picked up foul number two. With 16 seconds to play in the first quarter, Lewis Cass up by three. Zebra's fourth, toughing on Dom, you know, 30 feet from the basket. Yeah. Or, you know, he's going to battle as much as he does inside. But, again, Noah's fresh. He's, uh, Dahlquist doesn't have any fouls, so he can substitute that in. Staying out of foul trouble helps you make that. That might be the first. Yep. So Cass gets it inbound. Oh, the Omen shot is no good. Bixler with the rebound. Nice put back, no good, but a foul coming on Rochester, and that's going to send Nice back to the line to shoot two. Offensive rebound. 
Must have been on the body because up top on the ball, I think that was all ball. But again, you see the what happens. A lot of times offensive rebounds usually lead to fouls. Nice second one, or first one is good. Push the lead to four, he'll have one more. 11 seconds to play first quarter. Lewis cats up 17 to 13. And Nice will have one more for the Kings. Nice, second one, good again. Fred Abbott will come back into the game, and Dalkless will come out. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. Lewis Castle will make a substitution as well. Brian, Brady Bryan is now with their most athletic lineup. And Dom and, and Noah on the bench, this is as, as athletic as the Zebra 7 can go, kind of at this point. Abbott gets it to Ryan Holt. He loses the handle, picked up by Lewis Cass with one. And they're not going to get a shot off at the buzzer. After the first quarter, Lewis Cass Kings lead 18-13. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you, answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender. Meet Bob and Stan. Both bought new TVs. Stan watches all the popular ringside live events, boxing, wrestling, and the big fight. Bob can't. Stan gets out of market sports packages of baseball, hockey, and basketball. Bob can't. Stan gets live concerts and the hottest Hollywood hits. What's the difference? Stan uses In Demand's pay-per-view for all the special events, sports programs, and the newest movie releases. So call RTC today and start your own pay-per-view experience. Back at Rochester High School as we go to the second quarter. The Zebras will start with the basketball going to our left, trailing by five at 18 to 13. Medina on the wing, no look pass to Wilson Lee in the, base, at the, uh, in the paint to Abbott. Drives the baseline, throws up a shot off the glass. It's good. Uh, nice offense by the Zebras. But key to that was getting the ball to Wilson Lee in the middle and working inside out that way. In the middle, high post speed, reverse the ball, and then a quick pass down the baseline gives Abbott a good look. Yeah, anytime you get inside that 2 3 zone, good things happen tonight for the Zebras. So the Kings with the basketball going to our right. Bixler with the ball on the wing. Oh, will dribble to the top of the key against the 2-3 zone. Bixler drives it left to Irwin. The Bixler in the paint. No look pass down low to Kitchell. And he is fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Looks like foul is going to be on Medina. If it is, it's his. Nope. Let's take that back. That's what you get for assuming, I guess. Uh, foul's going to be on Abbott, his first. Shooting two. Team six, so I guess you spoke too soon about zebra foul trouble. <laughs> Cass is going to be shooting free throws the rest of the half. Get the first free throws off the back of the iron, no good. He'll have one more. Medina, Wilson, Reinhold, Abbott, and Holland on the floor for the Rochester Zebras. Zebras trail by three at 18-15. Ketchel's second one is good this time. Kings in a full-court press. Wilson Lee bounce pass into Holland. Alex, middle of the floor. Puts the defense to Wilson Lee. Lee around the defense. Now to Abbott. Rochester yet to cross the timeline. Now finally does. 2-3 zone for the Kings defense. Abbott picks up the basketball. Gives to Holland. Baseline to Wilson Lee. Lee, one dribble. Over the top of the defense to Abbott near the timeline left. Now dribbles to the three-point line. Middle of the floor now for the Zebras. Bounce pass left side to Reinhold. Back to Abbott. Right side to Lee. Wilson holds. Gives him the corner now to Abbott. Abbott drives the baseline. Get past the Holland. Three left corner. Good. Second three and six points for Holland. And it cuts the lead to one and 19 to 18 for Lewis Cass. And Bixler are walking across the timeline right through the center circle. Holland picks him up at the volleyball line. Abbott steals the pass and then travels as he's trying to bring it in. It's a good idea. Zebras are thinking right. They're playing aggressive. You get a turnover, live ball turnover, you're thinking score. 
good, good also possession down there, the last four by the Zebras. You went inside out, but this time the inside was a baseline drive to the corner and a kick opposite. Liam Leininger comes into the game for the first time for Rochester. Bixler runs the point against Holland, playing with one personal foul. Drives him to the left, gives him the corner to a wide open Stover. His three is no good, but an offensive rebound to Irwin. Irwin for the Kings, out to Bixler. Bixler drives it right, outside to Irwin. Irwin at the elbow, his pull-up jumper is no good. Another offensive rebound this time by Kitchell, and he has the ball taken away by Holland, who loses it out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by the Zebras. It'll stay with Lewis Cass. Yeah, kind of helped their skelter play down there. The Zebras also give up an offensive rebound, but Holland's quick hands almost forced a turnover to get it back for them, but the ball went out of bounds. Kitchell, Stover, in the corner to Bixler. Drives, jump stop, rises up, shot no good, the put back by Kitchell's good. Several offensive rebounds, yeah. leading either fouls or extra possessions for Cass. Zebras got to take care of that. They d had done a good job, but it's... Uh, Kind of been a thorn in their side last uh, quarter here. And the Zebras turn it over on fourth, basically turn it over there as it goes out of bounds off of Liam Leininger. As Frost are back in and Wilson Lee to sit down. Five and a half to play in the first half. Rochester trails Lewis Cass here at Rochester High School, 21 to 18. Haven't seen Zebras dial up any of their pressure yet. I don't know if that's something they're saving you the second half, but uh, something that you think at some point they like to try to get into because they've done it so far this year. Rochester still in that man-to-man -man defense. Irwin around the defense, goes to the basket hard, found him a shot, he'll go to the line to shoot two. And obviously Cass knows Zebras are in foul trouble, so their game yeah. plan is switch to try to find a three to try to drive and draw fouls on the Zebras. You know what's impressive is Lewis Cass can bring three or four off the bench and match the same uh, athleticism as the three they took off the floor. Exactly. Irwin's first free throw for the Lewis Cass Kings is no good. If you have one more, back into the game is Evan Owen. They're coming out as Bixler. Reinhold will come back in for Rochester. And Alec Collin will have a seat. 5.17 to play in the first half. Lewis Cass leading 21-18. And Irwin at the line to shoot one more for the Kings. Irwin's second one on the way. No good again. And the uh, re rebound to Foster. Foster pushes the ball to the floor for Rochester. Now left elbow, pulls it back outside to Abbott at the, free, at the uh, volleyball line to Reinhold. Back to Abbott, middle of the floor. Red to Abbott, the right side. In the corner to Leininger. Leininger, one dribble on the way to Abbott. And he travels going to the basket. And it'll give it back to Lewis Cass. Up by three with under five to play in the first half. Just in case, not quite as crisp ball movement or the, the decisiveness that we saw in that first quarter. Zebras are just trying to a little hesitant, maybe some different lineups on the floor, but not quite as, you know, Brett just got to slow down a little bit. The right move, he's just yeah. playing a little too fast. Wow. Stover gets a bullet pass from Evan Owen down low, and he puts it in for two, and Rochester now uh, or makes that lose cast now up 23-18. Stover, the first one in double figures this game with 10. Leininger over the top to Thomas to Brett, cutting Brett Abbott. He puts it in for two. Rochester breaks that press easily. And cuts that cast lead back to three with 4.29 to play in the first half. Like I said, nothing about this cast pressure surprise you. You've seen it the last several right. years. Oh, the no-look pass down low. goes right into the hands of Stover. He puts it in for two. Jeez. <laughs> Talking about a bucky, lucky bounce. That's uh -huh. exactly what happened there. Should have been a turnover, and you end up with an uncontested yeah. layup. Abbott to, uh, to Reinhold. Back to Abbott. High on the right side. In the corner to Thomas. Tom, bounce pass down loader. Jordan right on his leader off the glass is good. First bench points for the Zebras. Sixth player to score for the Z's overall. 25-22, Lewis Cass. 345 to play in the first half. Kitchell on the wing. Kicks it outside to Owen. He pushes oh. off and calls for a foul. Evan Oman will be called for the charge. And it'll give Rochester the basketball back. As Taylor Medina comes back in for Rochester. Bixler comes back in for Lewis Cass. Leininger will have a seat for the Zebras. Good job by Leininger. You don't get that call unless you're in legal guarding position. I mean, if you're upright or you're looking awkward, referee's probably not going to give you that call. It might actually call it on you. But the fact that he was in a defensive guarding position helped him get that call. Took the forearm right to the chest. <laughs> Medina in the corner to Dom. Thomas. 
Bounce pass top of the key to Abbott. Max Thomas right side. He'll take the 18-footer off the mark. No good. And the rebound to Owen Oman. He loses the handle. Ball loose. It's going to be taken away by Foster. And then he's going to travel. Yep. He's going to travel as Owen Oman reaching for his right hip. And he's still down. If he twisted his back or it seems that I don't think he got necessarily landed on. Maybe as, as a twist going for possession. I don't think anybody necessarily fell on top of him, but that's one of those things. You're going to feel that. Yeah. You can do something to your back. And he can't barely stand up straight walking off the floor. Yeah. So Owen Oman will come off the floor. Rankert comes back in for the Kings. 3.17 to play first half. Rochester trails the Kings 25-22. We've said this before, a time or two so far this year, but here we are, those last three minutes of the first half. You know, you're down three. Can you can you hang in there? Do you make a run to take a lead? You know, don't give up that run to get you down ten going into halftime. You've played well. You know, going down three is not bad if you yeah. can maintain this, but, you know, you, you want to finish this half well. Stover's three is off the mark. No good. Another offensive rebound. The putback by Omen is no good, but a foul uh, makes that a last touchdown of bounds by Rankard. Boy. Oh, that might have hit the wire. But, but what Cass had yeah. two opportunities yeah. on that trip, another offensive rebound. I'm sure Coach is going to talk at halftime yeah. revisit that, that offensive rebounding because that's the Zebras that have done a good job. It, from that first shot going up in the possession, the Zebras are in good defensive position. They're just getting killed on the offensive boards right now. So Abbott gives to Foster. Over the top of the defense to Reinhold. 2.50 to play, first half. Rochester down by three. Right hole bounce pass high on the right side of Medina, down the corner to Abbott. Abbott bounce pass to Medina. Behind the three point line to the volleyball line. Crossover dribble, drives it right. Loses the ball out of bounds. We'll go back to Lewis Cass. Trying to do a little bit too much with the dribble. I mean, if you're going to beat this zone, you're going to, if you're going to dribble, you got to make sure you're going north, south, or you're going downhill. You don't want to waste your dribbles going side to side too much. Bixler pushes. Evan Oman for three. Good. Might want to get in his mug. He's smooth. He's got eight. It's a six-point lead now for Lewis Cass at 28-22. Abbott around the 2-3 zone. Gives to Foster. Back to Abbott. Swings it left side to Medina. Now in the corner to Reinhold. Jordan, one dribble. Back to Abbott. Quickly to Thomas in the corner to Medina. Taylor passes up the shot. Gives to Thomas. Swings it left side to Abbott. In the paint to Foster. Foster's jumper on the way is no good, but a foul coming on Lewis Cass. That's going to send Tristan Foster to the line to shoot two. That's a good move. That's, you know, sometimes in the middle of that zone attack, they put Dom who's, or Wilson, who's more of a passer, but when you put a guard there who can make something happen, that's when you can get another dynamic to your offense like that, where he just puts the ball on the floor and drives to the basket, draws a foul. Kind of surprised that uh, <coughs> Medina didn't uh, try to put that shot up. He had a wide open look, pass it up. Free throw by Foster is good. He'll have one more. Dahlquist back into the game. Thomas comes out. Foster becomes the seventh zebra to score. Yeah, you, you know, you mentioned that. And Rochester had all five of their starters in the scorebook in the first, what, two or three minutes of the game, right? And then kind of went quiet since then. 28-24. Foster makes both free throws. Two minutes to play in the first half. Bixler against Abbott. Bounce pass to Rankard. Who gives the nice, who travels, going to the basket, and Rochester going to get it back down by four. Big possession here, cut it to two, cut it to three. You know, you're here inside two minutes again. It's, it's, it's a four-point game. You, you want to get a good score here, good opportunity, maybe get the free throw line, work your offense, get to that middle of the zone, keep working hard, keep getting good looks. Those guys will stay in that two-three zone where they've been all night. Foster in the paint. Kicks it outside to Abbott. Abbott back to Foster down low. His shot over. Nice. It's good off the high glass. That's where it helps being a left-hander. Goes to the strong side. Defense is forcing him left. That's to his strong side. 28-26. Rochester's got the, uh, the Zebras have the lead down to two. Bixler inside the three-point line. Left wing. Down low to Nice. His jumper on the way. No good. But Jordan Reinhold is going to pick up foul number two. That's going to send Nice to the line to shoot two. Not a bad foul. It's going to be a point blank layup. Make him earn it at least. Uh, only going to be Jordan's second. Team's eighth. But uh, Nice was going to have a point blank look for a layup. So yeah. not a bad foul to yep. make him earn it, although he is three for four from the free throw line. 
A minute 20 to play in the first half. Rochester down by two. Nyes of the line to shoot two. The sophomore's first one is short. They'll have one more. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman here at Rochester High School. Non-conference action tonight for the Z's. Nice for the K Kings. Second one, no good again. Another, well, almost an offensive rebound, but Brett Abbott there to pick up the ball and pushes. Abbott beats Blues Cast down the floor, kicks it out to Medina. Medina drives the right baseline. Now to Abbott. Dahl twists at the free throw line to Foster. Foster outside to Abbott with a minute five, and then Rochester will reset, and we're going to have a three-second violation called on Foster. Was uh, nice call by Cass's coach, I think. Yeah, that's what it's right, right in front of the ref. The lining her back in the game as Reinhold comes out. Minute four to play. Usually, it's one of those where if you get the ball in the middle and you make a pass out, if you're trying to make an attempt to leave, they'll usually give benefit of the doubt. Not in that case. So turnover, Rochester. Oh, oh. wide open backdoor layup goes to Bixler. And the lead back to four for Lewis Cass. He's obviously worked on that a time or two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty thing. Abbott at the elbow to Foster. Foster drives it left. Gives it to Medina. He drives the left baseline. Down a little Foster. Leaner's blocked by Nyes. But if we're going to say a foul coming on Lewis Cass with 35 and a half to play in the first half. I think that's going to be a Nyes. Should be his second. Yep, it's going to be his second. Uh, Zebras may have found some here. Foster, not necessarily your prototypical post player, but he's made some things happen inside, and when he doesn't have it, he's got some guard experience at the freshman and JV level, so he's able to make the pass out when it's not there. You know, it's kind of that dual threat where he can shoot it, drive it, pass it, triple yep. threat thing, where, you know, maybe some other players may just be a passer. He's been able to make something happen in there. So Foster misses the first free throw. He'll have one more with 35 seconds to play in the first half. Rochester down by four. Foster eyes a second one, lets the fly, it's good this time. He's got five, pretty sure that's a season high for him. Yeah. <laughs> three of them coming from the line, exactly. 30 seconds to play, first half, Rochester down by three. Beavers going to 2-1, two, two, here's that pressure we've been looking for. Evan Oman has the oh. ball stripped yeah. from behind. That's good. But Foster can't save from going out of bounds. It'll stay with uh, Lewis Cass right in front of the Rochester bench. Really good half for Foster, been really aggressive on both ends of the floor, had it there, almost got the turnover, but that was a good possession by the Zebras. Over wide open three from the wing draws nothing but air, but an uh, offensive rebound for Lewis Cass with 15. Not keeping track, but that's got to be at least eight to ten offensive rebounds for Cass this half. Evan Owen for three short off the top of the backboard out of bounds. Rochester going to get it back, but maybe Ty here going to the halftime. Yeah, and really, if you look at the Zebras, the only complaint you have about this entire half, the only thing is, is the offensive rebounds are given up. Everything else is good. The offense has been good. You know, stayed out of foul trouble defensively until that shot goes up has been good. Offensive rebounding, the ones they've given up the cast, that's been the only Achilles heel of the Zebra so far to this point. Abbott pushes with four. Abbott across the timeline with three. Loses, almost loses the handle with two. Gives him the corner to Holland, and he can't get the three off of the buzzer. At halftime, Rochester trails Lewis Cass 30-27. to You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Hi, I am PJ Tour player and Rochester native, Chris Smith. The best drive I ever made was right here to Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester. Shepard's has an unbeatable selection of new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from, all priced to fit your budget. Shepard's professional sales staff was able to find me the car I wanted at a price I could afford. Stop out to Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester. You will drive away happy. Are you tired of your internet speed slowing you down? Not a problem. Get connected at the speed of light over RTC's advanced fiber optic network. Work, surf, or play on the net faster than ever before. Choose from multiple residential or business packages with speeds so fast it'll have you flying away. Already have RTC's fiber connect internet? Upgrade your package today. RTC. Local services, local support, and local investments. Back at Rochester High School, we go to the third quarter. The Kings will start with the basketball as they lead by three. Tony, first half uh, scores are, I guess, some scores around the area? Yeah, uh, girls' scores of interest. Uh, Culver Community beats North Judson 41-25. Whitco girls beat McConaughey on the championship of Miami County Tournament 58-25. 
Uh, and Wabash wins the Wabash County Tournament, beating Northfield girls 43-36. No surprises in there, I don't think. So, of course, the Rochester Lady Zebras in action on Friday. That's a big one. Oh, really pulls his way inside. Almost knocked over Dom Thomas. Probably should have, and maybe he picked up a foul. All right, Dom's got to sell that a little bit better. Hit him hard. Yeah. So the Rochester Lady Zebras in action on Friday at Knox in game number one of the uh, holiday tournament up there. Yes? Yes. Uh, it's a 6 o'clock start our time. The varsity plays first in that format. So we'll play the South Central girls at 6 o'clock. JV will play the South Central girls after that in the auxiliary gym. And then on Saturday, Saturday the action moves to West Central. JV will play at 4 o'clock. Varsity will play after against either Argus or West Central. Good tournament. Good, Everybody's yeah, got a winning great. record. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's good got a winning record. Yeah, really good. Uh, I think uh, two of the three, well, not counting Rochester, but obviously the two 1A schools in West Central and uh, Arg or West Central and South Central rank, uh, ranked at one point, maybe still are. Yeah, and Argus could easily be as well. If you look at their schedule, they may have played a little bit even tougher schedule than even well, uh, West Central or some of those other teams. Really good, really good tournament. Thomas goes to the basket and foul on the way there. It will be out of bounds to Rochester. Then on uh, the guys will be in their uh, winning edge holiday tournament on Friday night as they will play uh, host Tippecanoe Valley at 7.30-ish, I'd say, give or take a few minutes at Tippecanoe Valley. It's in the second game Friday night, and then the consolation game 6 o'clock on Saturday with a championship at around 7.30 or 8 Saturday night. Uh, inbound pass comes into Dom, uh, make that Noah. Dahlquist is tipped out of bounds and will stay with Rochester baseline left. 32-27. Lewis Cass up here with 6.55 to play in the third quarter. Thomas bounce pass to Noah at the free throw line. Dom goes to the basket, foul on the way there. Good time by the Zebras attacking the basket, drawing fouls early in the half, which usually happens to them. It's good to see them take the initiative and go inside and draw fouls. How many does Evan Oman uh, have points-wise? Evan Oman has eight. But he just picked up his third foul. Mm -hmm. Even better. Yeah. Medina looks to get it in. Does so over the top of the defense of Thomas. Dom has his pocket pick from behind. Bixler will go in for the layup. It's good. And then Lewis Cass will use a timeout at the 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. to play in the third quarter. Lewis cast up by seven at 34 to 27. Tony Stasiak on David Musselman. Brad Thomas and I will have the uh, guys basketball tournament on the Saturday, Friday and Saturday. And then we'll hit the new year and then look out. <laughs> we'll pick up speed rapidly. Yeah, we come back with uh, North Judson at home on Tuesday, January 6th. Six. Yep. And then Whitco back in conference play on that Saturday the 10th. We got 12 games now, and we'll be at 16 there here in about a little over a week, two weeks. Abbott, step back jumper in the paint is no good. Rebound to Kitchell for Lewis Cass. Fixler runs. Fixler gets away with the carry. Outside of Hanlon, back to Bixler. Bixler against Abbott, resets to the volleyball line. Now the 10 second line. And all Bixler's doing is dribbling. Runs around the defense. Inside the three-point line. Jumper on the way is no good. Long rebound to Abbott. And taken away by Stover. Gives down low to Kitchell. Layup is good. I don't know if he'd technically count that as an offensive rebound or as a turnover. But again, it hurts the Zebras because they played good defense until the shot went up. Holland for three is good. Holland got nine. Three threes. And did not play most of the second quarter. Yeah, they need to get him going. That's uh, no doubt about that, whether it's the threes or drives. 36 to 30. Lewis Cass on top. They've held a lead the majority of this basketball game. Bixler, crossover dribble. Gives outside to Hanlon. Three in the way. Left baseline's no good. Thomas with the rebound. Dom clears to Holland. 
Rochester runs all right. Holland, no look pass to Abbott. Abbott picks his way through the defense. Jump pass outside to Medina. He'll fire a three from the right side. It's short. Got to follow it. And the rebound to Lewis Cass to Irwin, who gives the big slurp. Medina follows the shot. He's got an easy rebound because yep. he was not blocked out. And maybe easy putback. Yep. There wasn't anybody between him and the basket. Under five to play in the third. Rochester trails Lewis Cass by six. Hanlon against Dahlquist. One dribble. Down low to Kitchell. And Kitchell's going to be fouled on the reach in by uh, Don Thomas. Going to be his third. Team's first of the half. So Foster, who had a good second quarter for the Zebras, will check back in and Dahlquist will come out. Oh. Yeah. We'll maybe try to see if Dom can play that out. Bixler's fouled on the shot by Abbott. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Abbott's going to pick up his second. Quickly, the team's second. And going to send Cass to the free throw line. And looks like it's going to be Bixler. Bixler hasn't been to the line yet, but he's got eight points for this quarter. Bixler and Irwin kind of mix it up there down there on the baseline. They hit each other, and now Bixler trying to shake that off. Cass did not shoot great percentage themselves. They were only four of eight from the free throw line in the first half. Free throw for Bixler is no good. 4.49 to play in the third quarter. Cass by six. And one more coming for Bixler for the Lewis Cass Kings. That might be one of those things you see about the holiday layoff free throw. Free throw routine may be a little off. and They'll get quite those legs. Both teams haven't shot well from the line tonight. Second one no good again. Foster with the rebound and pushes for Rochester. Foster outside of Medina. Drives the left baseline hard. And we're going to have a foul on Lewis Cass for on the reach in. But if this continues, both teams are getting a lot of practice at free throws here in the second half. <laughs> yeah. The whistles have tightened up greatly here in the second half. The foul is going to be on Irwin, his first. Kind of how it goes, isn't it? Yeah, amazing. Medina, baseline. I don't up. think it was over physical. I mean, we've seen a lot more physical games. I don't, I don't think they needed to adjust. I thought it was okay. Medina's Medina. going to score. Yeah, Medina with a nice, a nice athletic move in the block. He's got four. Puts it in for two and cuts the lead to four with 4.29 to play in the third quarter. Bixler walks it through the center circle, works to the left wing. Behind his back dribble inside the three-point line, now in the corner to Hanlon, back to Bixler. Bixler against Abbott. Abbott in his jersey. Now gives to Irwin against Holland. To Bixler, loses the handle but keeps his dribble, gives to Irwin, feeds down low to Kitchell. His turnaround jumper is no good. Thomas in the rebound, run, Dom. Leads ahead of Medina and just too much out of bounds. Not, that's a good idea, but just let him a bit much. Yeah, right thought. It was the right thought. Right thought. You got Again, you're trying to be aggressive. Most coaches would say they'd rather take that, that mistakes of aggression yeah. versus mistakes of being timid, and that was – Dom was trying to make the right play, just put a little too much on it. Four minutes to play, third quarter. Cass by four, 36-32. Biggest lead of the game for Cass has been about seven. That came earlier in this quarter. Watch the back door. Irwin to Kitchell, the free throw line. Jumper over Foster's, no good. Offensive rebound to Stover. Down low to Hanlon. Hanlon, cleaner over Medina goes. Again, offensive rebound leads to another two easy points for Cass. Holland, part of the basket. Teardrop shot. Air ball. Rebound to Irwin and Lewis Cass, who gives to Bixler. Back to Irwin. Gives to Bixler. Bixler goes all the way to the basket. Shot throws up a shot, no good. Defensive rebound to Foster. Foster runs for Rochester. Foster stops. Leaner off the glass is no good. And the rebound fought for, still being fought for. Cass comes out of there with it. Irwin through the defense, right side of the floor. Runs over Foster, and it's going to go back to the Zebras. Out of control are the Kings. Nice job by Foster, who said this time and time again, you got to be ready to take a charge. You can't react to it. And he, Foster was anticipating that. Foul's going to be on 22. Sammy Ewer in his second. Team fourth. Right hole back in, and Brett Abbott to sit down. Three minutes to play in the third. Rochester down by six at 38-32. It'll be the Zebra basketball going to our right. Going to use Tristan Foster as a point guard here. But Holland on the wing, try to maybe get him open. He's had a really good game. He has. Has fall through him. And if he can handle the ball and play the post, that's a pretty dynamic threat you give to this offense. Ryan Old high on the left side. Nana Medina behind the three-point line. 
Down low to Dahlquist. Has a strip from behind, out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester, baseline right. That was the right play. A little bit more of a lead pass. Uh, Noah had to reach behind him, which didn't give him the opportunity to finish, and, and Cass was able to knock it away. A little bit better lead pass. Everything was good. You had a bounce pass there? Yeah, yeah. He'll throw that little that bounce pass there and lead him a little bit to the basket. Good. Or a lob. I mean, I think either one works. It's the right look. There's a legal screen. On Foster. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh. Blue 14. Oh, blue 14. Okay. I thought it was going to be a legal screen. I was going to say. Shape. Foster's the one that ended up on his rear end. And I was okay with the illegal screen because I <laughs> there was a lot of uh, bodies flying around there, but they whistled out against Lewis Cass and Bixler. Fifth foul on Cass. So if Zebras can keep attacking the basket, they will get to the free throw line here shortly. Foster in the paint. Leaner on the way. And no good, a but a foul coming on Kitchell. And that's going to send Foster to the line to shoot two for the Zebras. I'm not sure anybody's been more there more than Foster has this game. 42 is going to get his first foul. Kitchell, uh, Zebras are shooting free throws the rest of the half. Foster, you're right, has been to the line four times. He's three for four. He's got five points, so this is certainly a guy we'd like at the line at this point. The lefty's free throw is good. Nice soft touch. And as we said, every point he gets from here on out extends his career high. No <laughs> doubt about that. But this is another another good bonus here. You get you get you get five to seven points coming from one guy off the bench like this. That's absolutely yep. that's a really good yep. action. Like we said, they've run offense through him in the high post and low post. He's played point guard. This is a good find here for the Zebras. Second one, no good. Dawes with the rebound. Noah's putback is no good, but an offense a defensive rebound now by Cass. Boy, he had a king hanging on his arm. He's still able to get the ball up off the glass. Irwin kicks it outside to Halen, fakes the three, dribbles around the defense at the free throw line. Now to Irwin, bounce pass back to Bixler, and he resets near the center circle. Drives it right around the pick, picks up the dribble. Outside to Irwin, looks at the three, passes it up, feeds down low to Hanlon. The baby hook is no good, and Foster another board. Wiggle, wiggle. Two minutes to play in the third. Rochester down by five at 38-33. Foster across the timeline, works to the right side. Picks up the drip, or uh, oof, almost called for a carry. Now loses the handle. It goes out of bounds. Cass going to get it back. Yeah, that's one of those things where trying to make a play, screening timing wasn't quite right, and got a little bit quicker guy on in that time and, and just uh, yeah. kind of played a little ball of control. It's a good look, though. I mean, if you could get him running the point, that frees up Alec. Uh, maybe for some run, run some screens off the baseline. A minute 45 to play in the third quarter. Bixler down low. Turn over the defense. Good and a foul. Bixler just got his 10th point and he's got Holland. No. Good break for the Zebras. That's going to be yeah. a ball twist. His first because that would have been Holland's third. Yeah. So Bixler the line for the three-point play. Looking to push this lead for the Kings, the biggest of the night, which would have been eight. Yeah. Zebras are only down three at half. Been outscored by five this quarter. Make it six. Bixler's free throw is good. And Brett Abbott back in and Foster to sit down. 41-33. Lewis Cass up with a minute 44 to play in the third quarter. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. I'd like to get a score here. You keep this round three to five going into the fourth yeah. quarter. Zebras in good shape. You don't want to get seven to ten. Be chasing that much against a good ball handling team. Right hole. Has the basketball, drives it right, goes to the basket hard, throws up a shot off the glass, no good. Rebound to Bixler. Bixler runs for the Kings. Bixler now pulls it back outside and gives it to Hanlon. Three from the left wing is off the mark, no good. Out with the rebound. Brett runs for Rochester. Minute 15 to play in the third. Rochester down by eight. Abbott, crossover dribble, goes left hard. Down the paint, loses his footing. Down low to Dahlquist. He throws a shot up, no good. And the rebound to Hanlon. Rebound off the stop. Now Irwin will bring it up for Lewis Cass. A minute to play in the third, up by eight. And now we'll hand it off to Bixler in the center circle. 50 seconds to play in the third. Halen looks at the three, passes it up with 45. In the corner now to Rankert, back to Hanlon with 40. Boy, they want, they want to give the ball to Bixler pretty badly down low against Holland. Now has it. Oh, he had a wide open shot. He turned around, jumped on the baseline is good. As it rattles in, and now the lead is 10 for Lewis Cass. 
Big Hat's got nine this quarter, 13 for the game. 43-33. Lewis Cass on top with 20 to play in the third. And then Reinhold throws the basketball away right into the hands of Bixler. Bixler across the timeline with 10. Goes hard to his right with eight. Stop, backs it outside with six. Around the defense to Irwin. Down low to, oh my goodness, off the hands of Rankert, out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Lewis Cass. They should anyway. Going to confer, get a little help. 2.3 to play in the third quarter. Cass by 10. Who's going to inbound it? Abbott's going to inbound it. Abbott gets to Holland. Holland, half corner to buzzer on the way. Off the backboard, off the rim, no good. After three, Rochester trails Lewis Cass, 43-33. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. First Federal Savings Bank is Rochester's only locally owned bank. Stop in today to start a new checking or savings account. Learn more about our online banking options or sign up for Go Green Checking, the checking account that pays you back every time you use your card. Stop in today to see why local banking is better banking. First Federal Savings Bank, serving Rochester and surrounding communities since 1966. Hi, I am PGA Tour player and Rochester native, Chris Smith. The best drive I ever made was right here to Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester. Shepard's has an unbeatable selection of new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from, all priced to fit your budget. Shepard's professional sales staff was able to find me the car I wanted at a price I could afford. Stop out to Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester. You will drive away happy. Fourth and final quarter we go here at Rochester High School. The Kings out to their biggest lead of the night of 10 at 43-33. And the Zebras will start with the basketball going to our right. Leading scorers in the game for Cass. Bixler has 13, Stover has 12. For the Zebras, Alec Holland has 9, Foster has 6, Abbott has 6. Zebras just about to turn the ball over again. Abbott picks it up. Drives it right in the paint. Throws up a layup off the glass, no good. Rebound fall four. And King come out of the with it. And now we're going to have a foul whistled against, nope, no foul. Lewis Cass hits the uh, deck hard as Hanlon races for the rebound. And now Coach Reinhold will use a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Seven and a half minutes to play in the basketball game. Cass up 43-33. And after the Rochester timeout, the Zebras will have the basketball going to our right. And Jordan Reinhold will look to trigger it in. Tony Stasiak on David Musselman. The warm-up before the holiday tournament starts. Have it over the top to Holland. He'll take a wide open three. It's good. Holland's got 12 on four threes. It cuts this lead to seven at 43-36. Big basket. You get a stop here. Yeah, boy. That's a huge momentum swing there, but you got to get a stop. And most importantly, you got to play good defense, which they have, but you got to get that defensive rebound once you do. Halen inside to Bixler. Outside to Irwin. Irwin at the elbow. Got to get rid of it. He's going to get a five-second count. And gets to Omen. Feeds down low to Nice. Has it stolen by Abbott. Abbott runs for Rochester. Rochester down by seven at 43-36. Abbott on the wing. Back to the way inside the three-point line, then to Holland. Holland outside to Reinhold, quickly to Medina. He drives the baseline hard. Throws up a shot over Nyes. It's off the glass, no good. And a defensive rebound to Omen. The only Omen on the field right now, or on the 
floor is Evan. We have not seen Owen for, well, quite some time. Bixler, wide open three straight away. Nope. Medina with a rebound. That's good. Ahead to Reinhold. Jordan, right hand to layup. Good. And now Rochester only down by five. 43-38. Get open, Evan. Get open. Every zebra but Wilson Lee has scored tonight again. Every one of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Liam's got two. Hanlon. The Bixler to wide open nice. Uh, and he yeah. foul from behind by Abbott. His shot's good, and he'll go to the line to shoot one. He's that the foul was whistled so late, and just about everybody was almost to the other end of the floor. Yeah, it's one of those where you might wait and see if he misses it, you might call it. But if he makes it, let it go. But usually you don't see him wait that late and call it after it goes. Lining her back into the game. Reinhold sits down. Six minutes to play in the game. Rochester trails Lewis Cass, 45-38. Free throw by Nyes is short, and the rebound by Lewis Cass. Bixler down to Nyes. Layup is good. And now the lead is back to nine for the Kings. Holland outside right for Rochester. Crossover dribble gives to Abbott. Left side to Leininger. Leininger holds. Couple of dribbles back to Holland. Holland in the corner to Medina. Taylor feeds down low to Thomas. Thomas on the block, out to Medina, drives the baseline. Cut off by the defense. Get past the Holland. Three on the way from the corners. Off the mark. No good. And Nyes with the rebound. He gives off to Irwin. 5.20 to play in the game. Lewis cast by nine. Bixler picks his way through the defense. Throws up a shot. He's fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Bixler's had a big, big second half. He has 13 points uh, for the game. And nine of those came in the third quarter. You remember a young man been several years ago now. He played Lewis Cass, last name Bauer. Oh, yeah. Good Bo heaven. Bauer. Yeah. Was, oh, he's yeah. not quite Bo Bauer, <laughs> but uh, he uh, handles the floor, runs the floor like he is. And you're right. It reminds me a lot of similar to, you know, he could drive it, shoot it, pass it, post up if he needed it, mid-range game. You're right. He was the key key component uh, of a Lewis Cass State Championship team under yeah. Bill Mobbins. And mental attitude winner that year. Right. Too. So really good kid. His dad was the uh, JV girls coach, or assistant girls coach for a lot of years under Steve Ford. So, the uh, Kings hit one of two free throws, and then on the offensive, the defensive rebound, Wilson Lee was fouled by, I believe, Hanlon. Yep. Hanlon. So I was going to say, Wilson, Wilson Lee, the line of right, with uh, two free throws. The lead is back to 10 in favor of Lewis Cass with 5.15 to play in the game. I said, looks like last game, he's the only Zebra has not yet scored. He's going to get a chance to put a free throw in and get in the scoring column. Wilson has one of the bonus. The junior's free throw on the way is off the mark. No good. And Nye with a rebound. Nye clears to Irwin, and Lewis Cass pushes up by 10. In the corner, Chahalen down to Nye. working hard against Thomas. He's found him a shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Boy, this kid's only a sophomore. Look out. Yeah, and, you know, same thing here with uh, Cass understands the point of the game where they just need to pound the ball inside, drive the post feeds, and Zebras are fouling, and they're starting to take advantage of that. That's a 16 foul on the Zebras, and Dom just fouled out. So Taylor Medina will come in for him as Dom Thomas will sit down. Finished with four points. He got them all in the first quarter. So at the uh, line will be nice. Uh, we'll go to the line. He's got uh, seven for this quarter. He's been there a few times at the line. Misses the first one. Yep. He's, uh, he's been there. This will be his eighth free throw attempt. He's made three. Rochester will take a 60-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. <sighs>
5.03 to play in the game. Lewis Cass leading 48-38. And after the rush, it's her timeout. Nyes will be at the free throw line for one more. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. Lewis Cass has held a lead of some sort the ent- virtually the entire game. I think that it was back and forth there a little bit in the first quarter, but they're midway through the first quarter. Lewis Cass grabbed it and held on to it and has never given it back. He was might want to keep Paul Nyes. Yeah, else. right on. I mean, he struggled from the free throw line. He's three of eight. Foster to Medina in the right corner. Medina, one dribble. Elbow to Lee. Back door to nice play. Medina, his layup is good. Good call coming out of the timeout. Nice play. Medina's got six. 2-2-1 two, two, by the Zebras. Got to dial the pressure here. Irwin. Bixler breaks the press. Down low to Nice. Over Medina. Foul on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That's one of those uh, cast is going to rotate along the sides, and they kept the one guy back. Medina's got to anticipate that and jump in front of the pass. He played behind. That's an easy catch for Nice. But like you said, he struggled from the line. May not be a bad foul. Yep. It's only Medina's second. Beats the... Point blank layup he would have had. Nice has two. First one for the big man is good. He'll have one more. Looking to push this lead back to 10. And Stover will come in for Nice if he hits this free throw for Lewis Cass. Both teams shoot free throws the rest of the way. Second one for Nice is good again. 50 to 40. Lewis Cass up. Stover comes back in. He had a hot first quarter, then kind of went away. Yeah. Uh, Cass probably anticipating fouling and going to their maybe a little more of a delay or patient offense. They've got five guards on the floor now. Yeah. Rochester has it going to our right, down by 10 with 4.25 to play in the game. Medina on the baseline. Bounce pass to Wilson Lee at the elbow. Goes back to Medina on the wing. Drives it left. And he is going to be fouled by Evan Owen. Owen, that is. And that'll send Medina to the line to shoot one and the bonus for the Zebras. Owen's four, team's eight. Medina's going to go to the line for the first time. He's got six points so far. Medina. 4-17 to play in the game. Rochester down by 10. Medina's free throw is good. He'll have one more. Kitchell comes back into the game for Lewis Cass. And Evan Oman will sit down with four fouls. Brett Abbott will come back in as well for Rochester. Zebra's only 5 for 11 from the free throw line after that. Yeah. And Wilson Lee checks out. Medina with one more, looking to cut this lead to eight. Medina eyes it, flies it, second one's no good. And Kitchell with a rebound, it gives to Bixler. 4.13 to play in the game, a little man-to-man pressure coming up the court for Bixler. Cross-court pass to Irwin. Irwin, back to Bixler, crosses the timeline left for Lewis Cass. Works to the wing, inside the defense, throws up a shot, no good, a foul coming on Rochester, he'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul is going to be on Medina. His third. Four minutes to play in the game. The Kings by nine. And Bixler's the line to shoot two shots for Lewis Cass. First one, good. Wilson Lee back into the game. And he'll replace uh, Leininger. Bixler's got 15. Taking over team scoring leaders. Bixler with one more looking to push their lead to 11. Second one is good again. 52-41 Lewis Katz under four to play in the game. Foster drives the baseline. Cut off by the double team. Got to get rid of it. Does so to Medina in the right baseline or the right wing and loses it out of bounds. Medina's thinking about the three, but he didn't have the... It's one thing to think about it, but he was starting to shoot the three before he caught the pass. Yeah. Got to yeah. have the ball before he gets the shot. Zebra's back in there, 2 2 one three-quarters court. See if they get a little quicker rotations than they did last couple times. Try to take away that middle and then trap on the side. Bixler is fouled by Abbott. About 30 feet away from the basketball goal, and it'll send Bixler back to the line. This time to shoot one in the bonus. It's going to be on Brett. Fourth. Team. I gotta tell you, if you'd have sent me a text today, Stays, and said, "Why don't you give me Notre Dame in 20?" I'd have said, "Okay." I would have taken it too. I had a good feeling. I watched Rudy last night. <laughs> Big one with the free throw is good. Great. A lot of, like we say, a lot of, a lot of pain these last two months to be a Notre Dame fan. It helped out a lot. 
good things happening next year. Final four team next year. Count it. Really? Saying it. Yep. John, you're recording this? Yep. Free throw by Bixler is good again. Uh, tough games opener home with Texas. At Clemson, home with USC. That's their three toughest games next year. Foster's fouled hard in the lane. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul is going to be on Irwin, his third. Wow. Speaking of Texas, Arkansas at Texas score surprised me a little bit. Yeah, you get some of that in bowl games. You're never sure who's who's happy, who's satisfied, who's who's taking it as a vacation, who's using it as a building block. Yeah. Foster. Six, stuck on six points after that miss. Right old back into the game. Wilson Lee checks out. He's four for seven in the line. Second one, no good again. And the rebound to Bixler and Lewis Cass. Kings lead by 13 with 3.20 to play in the basketball game. Stover to Irwin, back to Bixler, around Abbott. Left elbow, pulls it back outside, switches directions, gives to a wide open Hanlon, 10 footer short, and right hold the board. To Medina, Rochester pushes, down by 13. Medina, leaner, good. And now the lead is down to only 11. Medina's got nine. 54-43. Stover gets it across the timeline. Now gives hands off to Bixler. Rochester still in a man-to-man defense. Bixler against Abbott. Takes him left in the paint. Outside to a wide open Stover to Irwin. I think he got word from Coach Kitchell that says, uh, you know what, we don't need to score again. Exactly. You know, we're up by 11. Let's take the air out of the basketball a little bit. Shoot some free throws. Yeah, Bixler gets fouled. Good call. And that's going to send Bixler to the line to shoot two. And uh, Brett Abbott just fouled out. Bixler six for nine from the line himself. Abbott is going to foul out the second zebra to foul out. Joining Dom. Abbott's going to foul out with six points all in the first half. Oh, and Ullman comes back in for uh, make that. I'm sorry. Kevin Oman comes back in, and Halen to sit down. Big scores the line to shoot two. He's got 18. 18 and 14 of them are coming in the second half. First one's too hard. He'll have one more. 54-43, Lewis Cass. Two and a half to play in the game. Stover had 12 in the first half, and Bixler kind of took over in the second half. Second one coming. Good this time. Lead is 12 for Lewis Cass at 55-43. Two and a half to play. Holland being pretty quiet this game. Gives to Ryan Holt in the corner to Wilson Lee. Lee, one dribble. Bounce pass to Holland. Quickly left side to Medina. Medina, bounce pass to Ryan Holt. Ryan Holt pushes. Kicks it out to Medina. Drives the baseline. Has his shot blocked out of bounds by Stover. It'll stay with uh, Rochester baseline left. And I think Coach Ryan Holt looking for a foul there. I would agree with him. It's one of those things, maybe get Holland on the weak side of the zone and screen those guys when the ball goes away from him, then you might be able to skip it to him for a good look. Holland has his pass taken away by Kitchell, who gives the Bixler. Two to play in the game. Cast up by 12. It's over the baseline, out to Irwin. Landinger will come back in in the next dead ball for Rochester. Bixler against Holland. Bixler picks up the dribble outside to Irwin in a minute 45. Outside to Bixler. That's a three-point line. Wraps around defense. The pass goes to Irwin, and Foster's going to pick up a foul, and that's going to send Irwin to the line to shoot two with a minute 42 to play in the game. Cast up by 12. It's only Foster's first. And Irwin has not yet scored. Looking for his first points of the night. Irwin's first one, uh, no good. I don't think he called bank. <laughs> Lining her back in, and Foster will come out. A minute 42 to play in the game. The Kings up by 12. Foster, if he's done, he's played really well. Yeah, I agree. Uh, nice, nice little nice little building block moving forward uh, from this game. Second one is good this time. Irwin's got a point. 139 left. He was moving the ball against the 2 3 zone, trying to get a look for three, but need points regardless. Yeah, they'd be too picky where it comes Lewis from. Lewis Cass doesn't come out of this 2 3 zone, and then Rochester turns it over. Kitchell to Bixler. Minute 20 to play. 
Cast by 13. Bixler against Holland. Takes him outside and kicks it outside to Evan Oman. To Bixler who travels, no call. Bixler wrap around pass to Irwin. A minute five to play in the game. Just got to move the ball. Yep, your cast. He was trapped to see who's open. And now Lewis Cass will take a timeout. It'll be a 60. You're listening to, no, nope, it'll be a 30. Sorry, John, you're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Play the game. Lewis Cass leading 56-43. And after their timeout, they have the basketball right in front of their own bench. Irwin will look to trigger it in. Irwin. What's this? Uh, Holland and Bixler really banged bodies here right in front of us. No foul. We've seen some ticky stat tack stuff tonight, but that one <laughs> is not called. But anyway, turnover Lewis Cass. Rochester going to get it back. 55 to play in the game. Rochester down by 13. Three in the way for Holland. If this goes, look out. No good. Rebound to Irwin. Irwin then is fouled by Reinhold. Yeah. Foul's going to be on Jordan. Tough call there. Both guys are kind of scrapping for it. Jordan's going to pick up his third. You're right. That would have been made things a little more interesting. Yep. He cut that to 10 with 50 seconds to go. Shooting two, number 22. And you've got to be, as a coach, Tony, was down like only 13, and, and the three-pointers they've got, or the three-point shooters that Rochester have, in that timeout, they've got to be talking, let's knock it down this three, get a timeout, and yeah. regroup down by 10. Yeah, Zebras have three timeouts left, so there's some opportunities there if you get scored to stop the clock. Irwin misses the first free throw. He'll have one more. 46 seconds to play in the game. The Lewis cast up by 13. Irwin, second for the Kings. No good again. Good heaven. And that's playing some Cemetery's <laughs> foundation. You may need a new backboard here <laughs> for the next home game. Definitely those lights will be knocked out. You know they will be. Wilson Lee has his pass picked off by Evan Oman. And Oman walks it up the floor with 30. Crosses the timeline against the defense. Pass tipped away. And gotten back by Lewis Castor Irwin. Down low to Kitchell. Float it off the window is good. 58-43. 15 seconds playing the game. Oh, over the back call, got away with, yep. Medina has his pass taken away. Stolen by Lewis Cass. Irwin with seven seconds. Has a blocker behind by Ryan Holt. Kitchell's floater is good again. And that'll do it. The final at Rochester tonight. Lewis Cass defeats Rochester 60-43. to Postgame show coming up next on 92.1 WROI. Meet Bob and Stan. Both bought new TVs. Stan watches all the popular ringside live events, boxing, wrestling, and the big fight. Bob can't. Stan gets out-of-market sports packages of baseball, hockey, and basketball. Bob can't. Stan gets live concerts and the hottest Hollywood hits. What's the difference? Stan uses in demands pay-per-view for all the special events, sports programs, and the newest movie releases. So call RTC today and start your own pay-per-view experience. First Federal Savings Bank is Rochester's only locally owned bank. Stop in today to start a new checking or savings account. Learn more about our online banking options or sign up for Go Green Checking, the checking account that pays you back every time you use your card. Stop in today to see why local banking is better banking. First Federal Savings Bank, serving Rochester and surrounding communities since 1966. 